Hey everybody, welcome back to the homestead. I'm Joe and today we're going to be looking at feeding biochar to your animals. Now this is kind of a different thing and if you haven't heard about it, don't worry about it. We're going to be going over everything and exactly how to do it. Um, if you don't know what biochar is, go ahead and click this video right here. Um, it's going to tell you everything you need to know about biochar and kind of the makeup of it and how it works. We're going to jump in, show you how we feed it, show you all the ins and outs. We're with Mark from Baker's Green Acres, and this is the Anyone Can Farm Experience. All right, so looking at biochar in animals, what actually happens when we feed our animals char? Applying this to our animals is similar to applying it to the fields in that I can give this to my pigs right now. Just this is raw biochar just came out of the retort. I can give it to the pigs and they will eat it. And it's going to benefit the field more than it will benefit the pig. Now if I want to benefit the pig uh, what is it in the pig that helps the pig's digestion? It's the diverseness of the microbiological life in their gut biome. Their gut biome is their, their microbiological life that's in them from the clean side to the dirty side. So if I give this to them raw, eh, it's good. But if I inoculate this with additional bacteria, I'm going to give them a kick. I'm going to actually bolster their, their machine that breaks down all the feed that they take in. They'll actually be far more efficient with charcoal in their diet or biochar in their diet. Uh, and I can do that several ways. I can inoculate this with compost. I can just put it in compost. But the pigs don't really like to eat compost, so that's not going to be a good sell. Or I can make a, uh, an inoculant like a tea out of compost and then to spice it up a little bit I could put some honey in it or I could put some brown sugar in it. Anyway, you could put something in it that would entice the animals to eat it even more so I could do that. And then you're adding to their gut biome and when they inoculate it and they manure it out you're getting a double kick going out on your field. Okay, so I think that's the way to go with this. With chickens, uh, we suffer around here in this area of the country of uh, a disease called coccidiosis. And that is from an out of balance situation where you have too much coccidia, and a coccidia is a protozoa, and it's in the soil, and we have too much of it here. It gets out of balance in the gut biome of the chicken. There's not enough bacteria in the, the chicken's gut biome. You know, there's a, um, a competition for the bacteria and uh, the, bac the uh, protozoa are, are winning. And when the pr protozoa wins, uh, you have coccidiosis and the animals start to bleed internally and you get zero growth. Um, if you feed inoculated biochar, it's really important that it's inoculated. If you feed that, you will not have coccidiosis. And what's nice about that is you're not giving the animal any drug that you wouldn't want your kids to get. And uh, when we're looking at biochar, is it possible to feed too much biochar to your animals or what's the ratio to feed to biochar that you recommend? Uh, I, I don't believe that you can feed too much to them. And I, I feel that way because in all the years that we've been doing this, I've never seen an adverse reaction in a pig, in a cow, or in a chicken by giving them too much biochar. All right, so now we're gonna go and look at actually how you feed this to each one of your animals and what animals can you actually feed this to. All right, so looking at different animals you can feed this to and the different mediums that your biochar needs to be in. Number one on the docket. Pigs. So pigs, no grind necessary. Nope. 
throw that, inoculate it right up, and throw it right into them. Yep. Yeah, they'll eat what they want, and then they'll come back to it. All right, guys, hey, if you're finding any of this info helpful and these tips about biochar, please go ahead, give us a like, and if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. We're going to be doing a lot of biochar coming up. Let's jump back into it. All right, so next on the docket, chicks. Yeah. What does this look like? So chicks, uh, you know, you've got to change your biochar a little bit. If I throw in big pieces to them, they'll play keep away with it, which is kind of fun to watch. And then eventually they'll break it down or you can crush it up. That's not a hard sell, is it? But you can ino always inoculate your biochar with something sweet like honey or um, what's that other stuff? Molasses. Molasses. And what if you do that, if you put molasses in your uh, compost tea, the molasses will feed the bacteria that's in the tea. And it'll also make it a little bit sweet, so when you put it on your biochar, the animals will love it. We'll feed biochar to these chickens throughout their entire life, and it will keep them from getting any kind of coccidiosis at all. I mean, they, they don't even see it. And it does another thing, too, because these chicks are destined for chicken tractors that are outside. There'll be 75 of them in each chicken tractor. And if we continually are feeding biochar to them, they're continually laying it down on the field that grows the grass and the clover and the alfalfa that they eat to live on. So the manure that went down on that field last year is full of biochar. And then these chicks will be going over it again this year. Maybe not even that particular place because there's a lot of room out there, but uh, it, it has a long-term effect in that it builds the soil that they're gonna be on, uh, the grasses, the clovers, and the other forage out there is gonna grow much better. And it's gonna give them a balanced environment to live in and they're just going to be overall healthier and happier uh, than they were before biochar. In order to feed biochar to the cows, they won't just eat it. You gotta put it in a little bit of sweet feed like this. So this sweet feed is, this is the stuff that we give the milk cows to entice them to come in and get fed. All right, so I just mix it in a little bit like that and voila, they will eat that. This would probably be how you'd want to do it for any type of goat or sheep or yeah. even maybe rabbits. Even some rabbits. experience there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Everybody on the farm needs to be eaten biochar. Biochar! We love biochar! Hey, it's over. It's over. There is none left. There's none left. It's over. <laughs> it's gone. I don't know. All right, there we go, guys. I hope we were able to explain how beneficial biochar is for your animals and the benefits therein. Um, you, obviously, the next step here is how do you make your own biochar? Go ahead, click this video right here, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.